All right, fourth and final light here. I'm gonna take you guys through the steps that I've taken on the wiring of each one of these lights. Listen, I, I can't hear too well. Do you suppose you could turn the music down just a little? Here. Finally, time to run some wire. Listen, I, I can't hear too well. Do you suppose you could turn the music down just a little? All right, fourth and final light here. So I've been putting each one of these boxes at 10 and 3 quarter because that's where it looks good. And this wire is coming from the other one. And I'm gonna put it through this box after I puncture that hole. All right, that's the wire coming from that direction. Now, this is the wire that's going to the generator. But I need to connect it to everything here. So I got my power coming in, power going out, two wires into this box. Now I'm gonna fasten these down so they stop wobbling all over the place on me. All right, got things nice and tidied up there. Now what I need to do is strip these wires in preparation for the outlet. So you peel this insulation back, cut it off, and then strip your wire. This is 12 gauge, so I'm gonna choose 12 gauge on my tool. Strip that, strip that, strip that. Now, ground wires go together, white wires go together, and black wires go together. They're all separated and stripped. Then I grab my outlet, and you have the option to put the wires on the side. I like to put them straight into the back after stripping them. You just push them right in those holes. I prefer that method personally. Black wires go on the right with the gold screws. Push it in there. So, the white wires are in, the black wires are in. That's tight. Now the grounds. I take my needle nose pliers and I gotta do this maneuver here. Bend it over. Bend it over. Then you have to take that 90 degree bend you made. <laughs> and loop it around that green ground. So, all those connections have been made, and I just push the wires in there, line up these screws, and take the cover, screw that on there. Now I just need to connect a wire from here to here so that I can take this light and plug it in. So to do that, take this cover off of this. This light comes with wire nuts. It has a white and a black and a ground. So this is the chunk of wire I'm gonna use. It's going to connect here and plug in here. In order to get it ready, I need to peel the insulation back again. There's those beautiful wires. Strip these. 12 gauge, 12 gauge. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm gonna go through the side here. So I need to punch a hole in this box. Those just break out of there. Now there's a hole that the wire goes through. And you're actually supposed to put a rubber or plastic grommet in here. I forgot to buy that. So I'm gonna have to go back to the store and install this later. So all you electrical inspectors out there, please don't judge me. Although I understand if you want to judge me. I am ashamed. Black goes to black. And my stepdad always taught me when you're using wire nuts, you wanna screw it together. And then once it starts to coil around, you're gonna to wanna to keep doing that until it wraps around several times. Until you basically can't do it hand tight anymore. And that's when you know You've got a great connection here because it's raveled together like that. 
Raveled? Wrapped? I don't know. English, mother Do you speak it? No! Black, white, ground. Then all of these just go into the box. Cover goes back on. Now, the final step. Wire the plug. I should have slipped this on first. Plug gauge. Now, just like the outlet, this has a spot for a black, white, and ground. So black goes with the gold colored one. Tight enough where it's not gonna pull out. Same thing with the white one. And the ground. Beautiful, all connections have been made. And this slides over top. You gotta line these holes up properly. And then there's three screws that put that together. One, two, three. Now, there's two screws that cinch this wire tight against this so it can't pull apart. Those two screws. You want to tighten one side, then tighten the other. Then tighten one side, tighten the other so it squeezes it down evenly. All right, now I've got my light here, which is separately wired. It's not connected to anything until I do that. Now it's connected to all the other wires. And for my final act, I will run this wire down and plug it into the generator. Oh. All right, this is what we got going on up here. This is the first light in the system. So that gets plugged into this outlet, which connects to that outlet down there. That one goes to that one. That one leads to this one and then goes out and down. All right, this is it. This is the moment of truth. I got this wired up. That wire runs from the ceiling down here. I just left all that in a big coil. Now I just need to fire up the generator, plug this in, see what happens. each one of them out and they all can unplug and be turned off if they need to be. If I ever want to change lights all I'll have to do is take this out and then I can remove the light. If I were to just hardwire all of the lights in it would make it much more difficult for me or anyone else in the future to make any changes so that's what I'm thinking here. But man when it comes to something like the wiring I know that I can do it. I've done wiring before, but there's so many little things. You make one mistake or you don't tighten something just right and it ruins everything. So I'm always nervous when I put in a bunch of work doing something like this and not knowing if it's gonna work until the very end when you put that plug in the generator. I'm glad it all worked out. I've done things like this before where I put in all that work and then it didn't go the way I wanted it to. And it's like, you gotta go back and, and fix something or figure out what went wrong but everything went pretty well here so very awesome not sure what i'm gonna work on next but i'll be recording it and i look forward to editing that video and sharing it here on my channel